All right, folks, welcome back. Let's go ahead and do a quick recap of what we've done so far. We've added a meter. We've got our phase scope. Then we inserted a trim control to bring our level down by 6 dB. We added a parametric equalizer, do some broad stroke EQ touches. And now we've done a little bit of dynamics control to add some punch and to uh, give a sense of more energy in the mix. All right, so the next thing we're going to do here is we're going to add our limiter. So the idea of the limiter is to maintain the peak average of the program. What that means is allow us to get a little extra punch and a little extra power out of our mix by limiting some of the peaks down. Now, you could go with a different type of brand or a different type of plug-in than the, than the DigiDesign, but I think this one's going to work just fine. So let's go ahead and add another, exactly the same. We're going to grab another Dynamics 3. Now, the difference between the two is going to be how we set it up. So this guy is going to move a lot faster. So let's go through our settings again. Knee control, we're going to leave this as a hard knee. We want it to be aggressive and fast. We want to take our ratio up instead of down this time. We want to go to 10 to 1. That would be considered uh, 6 to 1 to 10 to 1 is very soft limiting. So we want to stay at about 10 to 1. Now our attack time, we're going to make it as fast as possible and our release time as fast as possible. This gets us in and out very quickly. We're only trying to deal with transient peaks, which have a very short duration. Okay, let's pull out our threshold control. Make sure we turn that back up to zero. We're probably not going to be able to pull down more than maybe even minus seven. So at the same loud section of the song that we picked up at before, we're going to pull the threshold down, get some limiting, and then we'll immediately add the makeup gain to it. Okay, you can see just by looking at the numbers, we know our track is peaking somewhere at about minus 6. We get down to about minus 7 on our threshold, we start to see about 2 decibels worth of limiting. So we added back 2 dB worth of gain. That's how uh, we're using the offset here. So let's do a bypass listen. So I'll play back the audio without the limiter, then we'll add that in. So as you can hear, there's a big sonic difference starting to happen. The compressor and the limiter will have a tremendous effect on the way the track sounds, not just its volume. It does have a lot of effect on the mix itself. That's why we're trying not to push too hard. Okay, well that wraps it up for right now for limiting. So we've got limiting compression EQ and our gain stage. Why don't you guys join us again for the next one and we will do brick wall limiting.